All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of State of Decay 2. I hope everybody's having a great night. <clears throat> so, we are back with the beta. And uh, as you guys know, we are in Lethal Zone. We are in Mirror Valley, and we've been trying to make some, some big moves. Now, last episode, I did go ahead. Uh, because of the way the, the system is currently designed, I had to, like, put in mega work down here, chat. We ended up clearing six freaking plague hearts. Um, but... In doing so, I went ahead and pretty much got the map under control. Now, the play cards are like randomly waking up, which I, is another feature, you know, obviously, hopefully will change. Uh, but yeah, play cards are like randomly waking up. But the way I have my base set up, um, I don't think we really have to worry about it all too much right now. I, I think that we're in a good position. I still have these infestations up here, but as long as I maintain my traps here n above my base and below my base, just these two spots, I feel like we'll be we'll be safe for the most part. Um, let me see. So 28 minutes on that, and then tw 21 minutes on that. So we got about 20 minutes or so before our traps run out. But what I want to do now is we're going to actually take this outpost here. Uh, that is Burrow Crow. Let's see. We're going to abandon this. And I'm going to relocate this outpost uh, down south here. That and looks extra freaky. I, I was thinking before I started, I was like, oh, do I want to get a food outpost? Do I want to get fuel? But I feel like a fuel outpost is just so low impact. You know what I mean? Like, they really, really don't provide very much. Um... Like, what the hell is one fuel going to do for me, you know? So, the only problem, though, is the food outpost is super far away. I don't know. I might temporarily just grab a fuel outpost just for the sake of looting. We sure would appreciate some help over here. Um, but that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, we'll just get this. I'm going to loot this area out, try to get as many materials as we can out of here, empty all these play carts, and then we'll... Uh, We'll go from there. But I do have enough resources currently to keep my traps running. <clears throat> yeah. What do these guys want? A whole new base. Oh. Well, let me get set up here, and then we might go talk to that group, see if they uh, see what they want to do or where they want to go. Now, um, a lot of questions have been asked about this update. Um, when is it going to go live? Obviously, nobody knows. Um, but the developers just did a live stream the other day, and they announced that on f January 23rd, they will be doing a another live stream, and they will be discussing um, all of the feedback they received about the update. So they're going to talk about, you know, this is what we came up with. This is what you guys had to say about it. And this is what we're going to do about it. So they're going to discuss feedback and tell us, you know, their plan for, you know, what they are going to change, probably what, you know, what they're going to rework. So if you have any, you know, doubts in your mind about this updates, or there's a bunch of things you don't like, um, you know, cause like I said, there's things in this update that I, I, I want to change myself. Um, Look out for their stream on the 23rd because there's going to be a lot of information given and probably a lot of questions answered. So we'll do uh, that looks like a plague loader. one of those. All right, so we need a bunch of 9mm. Now, I actually have my thing here. It's going to cost me 5 ammo. Voila. Okay, so we got all that. We should be we should be good to go. These these guns, that's more than enough ammo for me. Uh, advanced suppressor, advanced suppressor. Yeah, we should be in good shape, chat. We should be in good shape. All right, so let's go. Uh, I'm contemplating bringing a little bit of fire with me, but we're going on a looting mission. I don't. And plus, I don't really have any fire, anyways. Ooh, do you guys think I have a repair kit? Don't, of course. I did get a mechanic skill book, but 
I don't have a, a mechanic. So there is that. We also have an enclave down here. All right, let's go talk to these guys. We'll see if they have a repair kit. Thanks. Nemesis, how you doing? I appreciate you all for coming and hanging out. I hope everybody's having a great night. Well, it has the lifeline map. Yeah, so they're not mad. Uh, man of action. Yeah. Uh, the, the, I don't. I'm pretty positive we'll not see another game, uh, map for State of Decay two. Um, any map, you know, or weather or anything like that. Any of those hopes you have, put those in the next game because they're working on the third game now. So. So let's see where they want to move. Okay, so they're not you looking to trade? telling nice. me. Um, no repair kit. I will buy their. Excuse me. I will buy their Molotovs though. I'll buy their Molotovs, and we'll see where they want me to head. Now, maybe it's somewhere pretty chill. Okay, so it's right up here. That horde's going to be taken care of. So, yeah, that, that's cool, because I I, I, could, I need to clear that infestation out anyways. Uh, we got fire. of screamer head man fire in the hole fuck that one's getting back up got it one more okay legislation's clear My stand back. Oh, good tackle. Sitting around. I gotta get back to work. So damn tired. Damn good bit of zombies, man. Well, this mission's actually making me clear out the rest of the zombies. There we go. More just kept showing up.
Cool, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? I'm doing all right, man. Doing all right, just hanging out. Hoping for a damn repair kit, but... Yeah. You know how it is. So, uh, we'll swing by this group. We'll check them again. I'm pretty sure I just checked them, though. Um, last episode, and then we'll hit this group on our way down south. Yeah. We've got a hostile enclave over here, which is no bueno. I'd like these zombies to go in and fight the damn hostiles. That'd be great. Look at that. Ooh, this is this is actually kind of good, Chet. It's a little bit of a death sentence. Griffin, thank you so much for the four months. I'm trying to see if uh, there's one down. Got to be careful because I don't want my damn car to get destroyed here. Damn, how did that guy survive that bloater gas? Whatever. You know how the AI is, chat. When they they fight good when you want them to die. Total lifesaver. Can we offer you something in return? Yes, actually. Um, we could use meds. Take care. We could use some meds. Thank you, thank you. Look at that chat. We just showed up real quick. Too bad I couldn't trade with them. And holy crap, I do appreciate you guys. Already over a hundred likes, and we just started. All right, let's see here. There is the auto shop that we can swing, stop by, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll stop there. Shit, screamer. Get a repair kit. Get our truck up and running. Um, and I seen somebody ask about a, a schedule. Now, I try to schedule in the past. Um, the way my life is set up, you know, especially at times, I, I, I could say, you know, tomorrow I want to start streaming at 1 o'clock and then one of my kids is pissing and shitting out there. You know, it could be just all... My life is very, very hectic. I don't... <laughs> so I, I don't like to tie myself to certain times because I tend to disappoint. Um, so I kind of always leave that up in the air. And then when it comes to the games that we're playing for said day, the issue I was having was I play so many games all at once. Um, 
and the games change very, very frequently because uh, a, lot, a, a lot of the games we're playing can be beat. You know what I mean? Oh, hold on, let me get out of this shitty situation. And and one of the issues I was running into is I'd be like, okay, you know, we're playing Ghost of Tsushima Monday, Wednesday, because I would have to do the schedule for a week. You know what I mean? So I'd say we're doing Ghost of Tsushima, let's just say Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And this is just an example, chat. But then what would happen was is I don't, I've never played these games before, so I don't know when the the game would end. Like, I, I don't know. So I'd be like, well, I, I don't know. It might last till Friday. It might last till Wednesday. And then what would end up happening, I was like, all right, well, we'll put on the schedule till Friday. And I, I would end up beating Ghost of Tsushima on Monday. So then Wednesday and Friday would say we're playing Ghost of Tsushima, but then I'd have to amend the schedule because now the game's done. And that would happen four or five times a week. All right. Games were just changing. Times were changing. And it was so it was so hectic and it was confusing people more than anything. I just stopped doing it because it, it, I was like, at this point, like it's, it's honestly worse because I'm telling you guys shit. That's just not true. Donated $10. David oh. official. I'm moving to a whole new town. Fun fact. It has its very own Mount Tanner. Not even joking. For real, dude. <laughs> Good. That's epic, brother. Don't let him fool you. Brian has commitment issues. Hey, there it is. You know, it's it's it's, it's part of the reason why I can't start the stream. If I say we're starting at six o'clock, it's like six oh eight. This shit is nasty, chat. Wani, thank you so much. And Koo, thank you, brother. I appreciate the donos, man. You guys are awesome. Get this done. Sounds like we're alone. Perfect. Right, let's get this shit going, chat. Let's get this going. Camille, brother, how you doing, man? Oh yeah. There it is. I like that. All right, let's get that baby slapped on the truck. This is goal number one. Already achieved. I'm playing on lethal zone. Yeah. So we're going to loot out this play cart that's on the way down. We'll go down, establish the outpost, and then we'll start full clearing everything. Curse boy. Oh, you did not have to do that. I really appreciate the suit. Not broke anymore. I can finally drop big bank in the future. Keep it. I, oh, that's a curse. You don't have to worry about that. I really do appreciate you, though. Seriously, man. It means a lot. Really not that great. Okay, so we'll hit this. Uh, oh, there was actually two play cards to the north. That one's almost empty, and so is that one. Yeah, we'll just empty them both completely. I forgot I was doing some looting uh, before when we came through. Nels, how are you doing tonight, though? Good to see you. People seem sure that the government is hiding out there in bunkers or whatever. Like they have their shit together good enough for that? Please. <laughs> Woo! 
Oh, okay. We just lost an outpost to a infestation. Yup. Damn, look at that. That's the first time that's happened to me. I don't even know how that got swarmed, though. Where did the infestation... Oh, that heart freaking woke up. So this is what I meant, chat. Once you get to a certain point now in Lethal Zone, it's it's a very bad change, and I... I Hopefully the devs change it. I'm sure they will. There's a lot of people complaining about it, but they have something. It's either a bug or intended, but it feels way too consistent to be in, uh, a bug. Uh, definitely feels intended, but play cards just randomly wake up once you hit a certain point, and it's very, very frustrating. Um, I, I really I, I don't like it at all. But the good thing is if uh, a lot of that stuff's tied to action difficulty from what I've learned. Um, so you can just lower the action difficulty down to Nightmare Zone. You won't have to worry about the BS. Totally. Thank you so much for the five gifted members, brother. Holy crap. Everybody who received one of those memberships, welcome to the family. Make sure you get those hearts in the chat. Totally out here showing love. That's so nice of you, dude. I'm hoping that the devs are like, oh, no, they'll, they'll, that, that's just a bug, man. And I'm like, all right, cool. Nothing very exciting left over. So at this point, I am going to have to actually re-engage this outpost. Um, so yeah, we're going to have three outposts to maintain. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Gotta grow this awesome man. Good times. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I, I really do, totally. Um, so how many... And the wall was removed. I mean, jump on. That'd be really cool, man. Yeah, that'd be really, really cool. Something like that. Um... The issue would be game changing, like up, to, like changes like that to the game, because that would that would fundamentally change how the game worked. Um, and a lot of a lot of you'd be surprised at how many people have played State of K two and never played Heartland, like they just never played it. Um, so the issue with that is undead labs already has problems with people figuring out how to beat state of decay right now like they don't know how to beat it so if they even if they complicated that anymore <laughs> it just wouldn't be good so if they if they were going to add something like that that would have to be probably in another game uh you know because the thing is is it what uh they they put it super good in their last stream the way they explained it is when you have a, a game that's been out for four years 
you have to be careful on how much you change said game fundamentally because some people, you know, you might you might kill what made that game special or you might add something that kind of just makes the game annoying. You know, like right now, if the way the game is currently um, with this beta patch, if, if, if they if they went ahead and changed the game to to what we're playing right now, they're going to lose players. They're going to lose tons of players. They're going to probably lose me. I, I don't want to play the game like this. Um, so I'm just using this as an example. If they forced this update through as is, it would kill a lot of the enjoyment that I have in the game right now. I could play State of Decay consistently all the time, and I have no issues. But now if they were to push these changes through, it would kill the game for me. I wouldn't enjoy it anymore. So that's why they have to be careful with how far and how fundamentally they change the game because they can make the game worse you know what i mean um they're gonna chase away exactly chase away those long-term players that are keeping the game alive in the first place uh because state of decay isn't staying alive because of all the millions of new players that are coming to the game no that that's not how it's working state of decay is staying alive because of the all of the long-term players who love this franchise who are still playing the game to this day um, and that's what keeps State of Decay going. So they the the dev team has to cater to hey, their long term players. You know what I mean? The people that have been here since yeah, day one or over the past year you or two. Know, think of it, I can see how we might improve this place even more. So it's a very slippery slope because, you know, they obviously want to make the game better uh, and keep us long term players engaged. You know what I mean? Because that's also something they want to do. They want to make sure that we don't get bored and just move on. So they want to keep the game fresh, new things. But at the same time, they, they need to be careful because fresh and new can easily become annoying and we don't want Yo, that. Is one sick juggernaut. But like I said, they're doing a good job. We'll see what they have to say about, the, you know, this update and the changes that they plan on making. Um and the feedback and stuff. But from what I see in the feedback, everything that I see most of you guys complaining about, or even I'm complaining about, um, is a it's, it's widely shared amongst the whole community. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna see that. So I, I with all confidence, feel like all the annoying stuff will go away. Yo, we heard about your plan to wipe out the play hearts. We could pitch in, but we need your help first. So the, the, the Skywalk, so I personally love the beta, um, but there are a couple things that are in the beta that make it um, not bad, but annoying. Um, and for instance, right now, the way the game is set up, they have play cards that wake up. You know what I mean? You do something, the play card will wake up. And it puts it, it, puts it in the player's hand. You know what I mean? It puts it in, in, in my control. If I make a mistake... Boom. Plague Heart wakes up. But in now this is one of the bad things. For instance, in Lethal Zone right now, you get a certain point into the game and the uh the play cards will automatically wake up. Like for no reason. Um now I've messaged like three developers. I've reached out. Um nobody's gotten back to me. Obviously it's the holidays and stuff like that, so I don't expect them to. Um but one of the things is is they haven't said whether that was intended or whether it was a bug, but that feels really bad. Um, you can't have a system where you know everything is player controlled, but then the developers are like, "Oh no, these hearts are going to randomly just start waking up." Because all, what it does is it's turning State of Decay uh, into a speed run, and I don't personally like speed runs um, like that playstyle. I, I don't mind doing one. But for it to just become the new way to play the game, myself and a ton of people, I'm pretty sure, could share the that that, that we would hate that. Um, especially because it kills immersion. It just you, you just got to go around and just start killing everything. You can't chill, you know, and and really enjoy the game and survive. You just got to kill the play cards all as fast as possible. And that's currently how Lethal Zone is set up. It's a, it's a race against time. Um, because if you don't stay on top of the play cards, you'll get overrun by the system because it's way too quick. Um, there's no way to like keep up with it at all. You can kind of manage it, um, but it's still very, very annoying when you do try to manage it. Yeah. 
Damn it. I think that's a feral. Go for the head. Yeah, so they 100% bound play cards, or the infestations to play cards, and it's a very great idea. Um, adds a lot of realism, and um, you can kind of see what's happening. You understand why the infestations are growing and where they're coming from, how to stop them from growing. Um, it's really, really good. Damn, this is crazy. We should be all right now. Oh, this character can't drop kick because he's a freaking red talon. Yeah, just some little tweaks, chat, and this update will be a freaking. It'll be dope. Super, super dope. But a lot of the tweaking, uh, really only um, matters if you're playing on Lethal Zone. Yeah, we're good. Nice, another repair kit. That's pretty heavy. Bunch of goodies here. We're gonna be able to get some good stuff out of here, man. Turn off the lights here. Oh, that's actually one of the changes I was going to make, uh, depending on, you know, if you guys could want the series to continue after this playthrough, uh, which will just literally be, ter be determined by, you know, the engagement, the viewership, the fact that you guys are still watching, smashing the like button. Another one? Oh, shit. I let my traps go down. Oh. Okay, so big, big mistakes right there, chat. Big, big mistakes were made. We're gonna have to do something about that, so, uh... Let's go empty that out really quick, and then we'll head up. We gotta clear that. That's right next to my base. Um, but, yeah, the changes I was gonna make, I was gonna try Drucker County next, or, um, Cascade Hills, one of the two maps. And um, we were gonna. I was gonna test nightmare action difficulty with um, a lethal map, a lethal zone map, nightmare action, and um, nightmare community or lethal community doesn't matter. Probably lethal community. So it'll be nightmare lethal lethal. I want to see how that feels. I'm already full up. Yeah, then empty shit. I'm gonna rush and over here freaking. Because uh, honestly, I feel like Nightmare Lethal Lethal is going to feel really good with the way this uh, update is balanced currently. That 
That's pretty heavy. Nice. So we're gonna we're gonna clear out our two outposts on our way back up north. I wanted to get all this damn looting done, but I uh, we will empty that out though. Pretty sure the Red Talon's gonna get tired here soon, but he should be okay. Anybody out there wanna give me a hand here? Hey, Chapter with the Super Chat. Uh, thank you for the content, bro. You deserve a lot. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. And uh, Peter with the three months. Thank you, big fan of your gaming and SOD2. I'm glad you're loving it, brother. Guru! Man, thank you for the super, bro. That's huge. Um, they should give player one day before the heart send out. Put a limit on how many infestations a horde's uh, heart can sustain. Yeah, Goo, I, I do think there should be a cooldown between when the heart wakes up to when it spits out its first infestation, because it seems like... Art wakes up, spits out two, three infestation hordes immediately. Like, immediately. <laughs> um, they should give players one day before the heart sends out hordes and put a limit on how many infestations and hordes the heart can sustain. That should help with pacing and prevent overwhelming from the mechanic. Yeah, it... it I, I think the main issue, though, is Goo... Now is that you can lose outposts, it's actually kind of risky to upgrade your outposts to LVL3. It is, and you want to make sure that you... Like, right now, I want to make sure I get these cleared out before the infestations get any worse. Uh, because you get a Feral a Juggernaut in there, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, but thank you guys for the supers, I really do appreciate it. Grab. Almost empty on that. Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, we're doing good, man. Fam's doing good. Everyone's great, man. Drop off this excess stuff. I actually might swap survivors right now. No reason not to. You know, the people who radioed might be those escaped prisoners we've heard about. But I still think we should help them, right? I got so many of these damn sniper rifles. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well. So I'll get rid of this Raiders. I will use this AR though. I got a good bit of set five five six, so that's why I'm gonna end up uh, switching over to using that. As you guys know, I tend to use whatever gun I have the most ammo for. And right now, that is uh, 556. Five, 
the fuck? Okay, go with that. Alex and uh, Alex. Two Alexes in a row. Thank you guys for the subs. I appreciate it. A lot of missions going on down here. So, oh, see, now this one's already a level two. That sucks. So now there's going to be a feral there. I kind of wanted to peek the back of this truck. See if there was any a repair kit in it. Oh, that's bad. Not worth it right now. Chris, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I don't have any fire. Seriously, bro. Why would you not grab fire? I don't even think I have fire, so it doesn't matter. Um, it's all good. All I need to do is shoot the screamer anyways. On the door, the problem is you can't shoot through the damn doors. There we go. I got a rest. One screamer down. Seems like we got fewer zombies infesting the neighborhood. All right, and we're going to get our outpost traps re engaged. go chat so that is one outpost secured now we got to go secure the one near our base
Uh, which they I, I, so I don't know Arjun. So the way my streams work is I stream a game. So if I play State of Decay today, um, if I play State of Decay today, right, which is the 11th, for any of you guys who are wondering my schedule, um, I play games every three days. So if I play today on State of Decay, I I won't play State of Decay again until the 14th. So every three days. Um, I play the games. So, Jonathan, honestly, in this in this one, um, like, yeah, they still hit your morale, but your your morale is your least of your worries in this new update. You're more worried about um, the sieges and how nasty things are getting around the bases because those these hordes are everywhere. And I, the one thing I've learned with this new update is the infestation hordes aren't just a big deal because, like, sometimes they'll be in a really bad area, and what will happen is you'll get two or three of these hordes all in the same spot of where you're at, and boom, now you have, like, 40, 50 zombies. It's, they're massive, massive hordes of zombies um, could be amassed when a bunch of these um, when a bunch of these infestation hordes get next to each other. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure you have some fire on you, but for instance, for me, um, I've been wasting so much of my fire just trying to keep my outpost traps running. Let's just drop that, and we'll go get our outpost back. And this is one we also need to get traps established in. Excellent. Watch that loader cloud. It's cleared. But they did simplify clearing the infestations. You only need to kill the screamer. And uh life's easy peasy. Let's go ahead and get this barn activated. Perfect. Okay, so that situation has been dealt with. We shouldn't have to worry about that for a while. Let's head back down. Finish looting out this area. Recruited a blood plague survivor? That's such good luck. Do you guys think they're going to add deep water in State of Decay 3? Never been in State of Decay 1. It's never been in State of Decay 2. I don't really care because it's not really super, super important. But it would be... The only reason why I could see deep water being cool is if they added, like, boats of some sort. And they made it so that was a way you could escape zombies. Like, the zombies couldn't swim. But if they added something like fishing in the game, which I highly doubt they would add fishing, as awesome as that would be, for them to add hunting and fishing, I I could see them doing hunting. Hunting makes a lot of sense. Fishing, eh. But, um... 
obviously I had something like that, then we'd probably want a little, little bit deeper of water. Yeah, Mr. Juggernaut, just leave me alone, dude. So these two shops back here, we, you generally you get a bunch of materials out of here, chat. Clear these guys. Uh, so if you're on Meager Valley and you need you need some big materials, yep, these two buildings. You'd never think. Generally, you can get two bags of materials out of each building. Here. Don't make me a liar, game. Watch us get no, no. What's Can't complain. Did they nerf the spot chat? Ah, uh, gee, I'm glad you enjoyed the arc video, man. All right, see, there it is, chat. That, that's what I'm. That's what I was getting at. Okay. This place is a gold mine. It's always the back container. Yeah, I, I I forget, but it's a gold mine. And I uh, thank you everybody for already almost three hundred likes on the stream. I guess we're safe to look around. And then I think you get the same two and one in here, too. I think. Yep, there it is, chat. Now, this place is a little harder to get into now on this update on Lethal Zone because obviously you'd have to go into Plague Territory. It risk waking up at, at that point i think there was four hearts here so you'd have to risk waking up four potential play cards just to loot the spot but as you can see now that the hearts are gone and we are in here psh, gold mine a little office here Maybe get some skill books. Got a Molotov. Ooh, second mechanic skill book. Yeah, yeah, I see that they made Cargo Van also 15 slots, which is dope because I actually, when we were on Trumbull Valley, I was so mad when I heard about that because um, the Trumbull Valley map, I actually had a Cargo Van that was uh, in the in the game. I didn't get it because I thought it was just going to be the normal or whatever. Um, so, but yeah, I heard that Cargo Van, the, that's the van with four doors. They're actually really, really rare. Um, yeah, that one has the same amount of slots as a Vandito. I was like, that's freaking legit, man. Yeah, that, that to me is honestly one of the best parts of this update, too. 
Booking book. I guess we're safe to look around. Right, finish off with some medicine. Yeah, because we had already had a van, and I seen the cargo van, so I just assumed the cargo van was going to have the same amount of slots as the regular van. So I was like, ah, I'm not even worried about it. And yeah, and then I heard that the freaking car, the, the cargo van had more. So I was like, get out of here, dude. I was, I was cheated. Cheated. Yeah, now having 15 slots. Oh, man, it's so legit. We had a Vandito in the last All map, and it was so worth it. I mean, even just the pickup trucks, you know, having this much space feels so good. Like, you can really just haul around so many materials or so much uh, resource. So I think I want to hit this military roadblock. It doesn't have very much loot in it, but we'll check it, and we'll see what these guys want. Before heading out. Top off my ammo just because. Just because. You never know what the hell kind of situation you're going to get into. It seems like the zombies are making me fight for everything. Like, we go to just random locations and we're fighting pretty damn hard. So, who knows? This freaking roadblock could have a thousand zombies at it. Yeah, the MX Racer, which is my favorite car in the game. I have one up the road. I actually want to go over, get my hands on that once I get a mechanic. Get it nice and cleaned up. Only one lootable container here, which probably isn't going to be that great. We'll see. There's no guarantee for ammo out of here either, so... It's not even a true ammo location. Farts. Let's go see what these guys want. Now, these are the medical people, so I think they're going to want to move and then do all this other stupid stuff. Thanks for answering my call. We worked at the old hospital. <laughs> huh? If anyone over there is listening, we oh, could use some help. Shit. I forgot about this damn mission. Hostiles. I'm gonna rub trashing this place when we're done. What the hell was that? Our base is under fire. I might just kill you, let you rise, and then kill you again. Barrel's got an armored head. Okay, go for the head. I don't know why, but I feel like the five five six was hitting the human on enemies a lot harder than it used to. They stealth buff. 
bullet damage a little bit, but I was dropping those people pretty quick with headshots. So, of course, they don't have any repair kits. It's not their style. Okay, so that was a little bit more than I uh, anticipated, but good thing it went well. We'll loot these bodies. We'll sell this crap. Well, they actually had some pretty good stuff on them. Well, that's pretty heavy. I'm on board with that. Let's just take a look. See. I'm on board with that. Uh, where was the last body? Out oh, here. you showed up when you did if your people need anything medicine treatment just let us know nice we'll pay you back, I promise. hooking it up chat hooking it up come on in okay so we're actually getting pretty full to the brim with rucksacks I actually can't carry any more but it's fine because that's all I needed to do down here anyways Oh, uh, we do got this play. Oh, no, we got one more play card to empty out. So let's go do that. Yeah, and there's another bag of meds down the road, and we actually need meds, so it'll, uh, it'll work out good. We can carry that last bag on our, our back all the way home. I'm going to nail this screamer really quick, because if he screams, potentially he's going to call in that jug. I think the jug might have moved on. Nope, there's the bloater. So I definitely need to top off my ammo again, as you guys can see. We we blew through quite a bit of rounds in that little engagement. Uh, is this game good? Oh, Parker, if you've never played this game and you have a friend, too, that wants to play it with you, for sure, definitely check it out. Um, amazing game, for sure. Well, it's one of my favorite zombie survival games on the market.
There might be three ferals out there in the field. Oh, I knew there was a couple zombies coming, but Jesus. And the thing is, is you know, the, that situation right there with the triple feral, um, the only re reason why I was able to even simplify, simplify that situation was because of, like, situational awareness, like, knowing, like, spotting it and being like, okay, you know, that's over there. So as soon as I seen it, I, I, I was like, all right, I was already ready for it. But I feel like that's where a lot of people get screwed up is they don't even, they don't even know it's there, and then it catches you off guard, and that's a bad day, a really, really bad day. As you guys can see, my truck took a hell of a beating right there. If I had a mechanic, which I should probably have at this point in the game, um, a lot of this really wouldn't matter all too much. But Let's get all this stuff home. Yeah, car's in bad, bad shape. Cool with the 26 months, brother. Holy shit, man. What a good day, Zap. Yeah, I mean, if we got the, if we can get these, because I'm not going to say, you know, we're, we're in the clear yet. I could easily hit something and it'd be a bad day. But if we can get this truck back, definitely a good day. It's a hell of a haul we have in the back of the truck this time. Don't just stand out there, hon. Come on in. Always glad to see you. Yes. Thank you. It is champ. Bad Wolf, how you doing tonight? There it is, guys. That worked out nice. So definitely a good haul. Definitely a good haul. Courtney with the 12 months. Thank you. SD legend, uh, best YouTuber around. I really appreciate that. That's so nice of you to say. Yeah, who's who's excited for some Sons of the Forest? My number one, probably most anticipated game of this year, for sure. I'm so excited for it. Bill, that's rough, man. Yeah, I always tell people if you're going to test Lethal Zone, do it with a fresh community of people that you don't care for. You know what I mean? Because if you lose them, it is what it is. This stuff should make our lives a little easier. Most anticipated show of the year? I mean, I'm looking forward to the Last of Us TV series that comes out in like four days, chat. Four days. 
before we get to watch that. Uh, I will empty out this, scrap this. We'd be better off with some power, yeah? Yeah, I mean, you're not lying. Somebody, one of the enclaves want. Oh, how do you want a plague here, dude? <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to reinforce that. Spare parts trader not interested. We'll go we'll go hook him up. We got we got enough meds now. I I, I really don't need to be stingy at this point, especially because I could just stray depot up now. And really lock down some resources. There's a plague bloater. Yeah, realistically, we're in a we're in a really good spot right now, guys. Really good spot. I even had an extra repair kit for this. Hey, Goo, you have a good night, brother. What is the best cardio upgrade? In my opinion, Powerhouse. I absolutely love it. She's about to be max Powerhouse soon. Um, and then once that happens, you guys will see the true power. Oh, Rob with the four months. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the content, man. All right, let's go give them this plague cure. He's oh, this guy wants to move too. Hold tight, headed your way. I'll keep an eye out. Poor, poor Ricky. He's just one dude. The rest of his team got killed. Don't be a stranger. Gracias. There it is. Take care. Let's just take a look. See. Oh, that sounds about right. Okay, so that enclave is taken care of. You know what I mean? Like, like I gotta do stuff to maintain relationships. With, why don't they have to do anything to maintain relationships with me? All right, Nell. Thank you for popping in. You have a great night. All right.
That's what I'm saying. Like, they could call me up and be like, oh, I need a plague cure. And then I'm like, okay. And if you don't do it, then they get pissed off and then they don't talk to you anymore. But then it's like, well, what do I get in return? You'll trade me some stuff that I have to pay for? <laughs> I'm giving you stuff for free. I mean, technically, I do get influence for completing the mission, but you know what I mean, chat. Yeah, I'm on lethal. Yep, 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 yep. Hey there. Here's a bunch of stuff I scavenged. Let's just take a Nice, look. another repair kit. I'll buy the gas. Alright, if you wanna move, Ricky. Glad to hear it. This won't be simple. I hope you're up for a challenge. Flowering Flats Fire Department. Okay. I don't mind that. He's going to be closer to, closer to us. Not that he was all that far away. Drop kicked him for you, chat. And it wasn't like the corner office drop kick. <laughs> it wasn't like the corner office trap drop kick. I'm just getting tired. That didn't turn out half bad. You are a lifesaver. You're welcome. Okay, so now Ricky's gonna move. I can't believe how fast she got tired. I literally feel like I just started playing her, didn't I? Oh, maybe maybe it's been longer than that. Maybe we were pushing her quite hard. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We need to replay that to re No, never again. That shit had me. I I can't believe how bad that was. I couldn't breathe. I was laughing so hard at myself. I should probably clip that. Turn it into a short. It was so bad. That damn drop kick had me freaking dying. Yeah, I'm going to go out. Bell here.
Okay, so we're not dipping too deep into the parts right now. 43 minutes, 54 minutes, and 50... Okay. It's got about an hour on two, and then this one is only 43 minutes. Now, I actually have this here. Uh, this is a siege site, and I was thinking about taking care of that before it gets any worse. Yeah, been in there brushing the shit out your teeth. You're not gonna have no gums left. How are you? Take care of yourself. That's what it sounds like when you brush your teeth with no toothpaste and no water. Just hella hard. <laughs> that man just got bristles in there. Straight bristles. And that horde is coming down here right now to reinforce that to level three. But we're going to clear it out before it has the chance. Fire in the hole! Got your ears Infestations aren't much of a problem now. Nice. So there is... There was... Still a horde coming down there. <laughs> this is them.
There it is. Yeah, if it wasn't for these outpost traps here, Chair Chat, the, those four ferals would have been probably a really bad day for me. The best thing I would have been able to do is sprint this way, dodging them, try to cut through this house to split them up, and then either A, lead them back toward my base, and shoot them up, or uh, just keep trying to make my way through the house and just keep them split, because that, that was bad. That was really bad. But yeah, those outpost traps definitely came in pretty clutch. Mysterious broadcast. So we have seven plague hearts left. Um, cell tower here, actually. That'll give me good visibility of this. And there isn't any plague threat up to that point. And I could loot this out. Careful, we have a freak nearby. Somebody better keep the damn mouth shut. What a load of bullshit. Gonna rearm really quick and we'll head over and uh scout this southern tier. Uh do I think we'll get an SOD three update at E three this year? Um Maybe not at E3. I, well, you gotta remember, Undead Labs doesn't necessarily only do E3. Like, they announce shit, like, at, like, Microsoft events and, and all that, but... Um... I mean, I think it's possible. I think it's more possible this year. Because last year, I was kind of like, ah, I, I don't think we'll hear anything this year. Like, that was my mindset. This year, I do think it is possible for us to hear something, but if we didn't... I, I still wouldn't be surprised um, if we didn't hear something this year. Now, next year, I 100% feel that we should hear something by next year. 100%. Um, and if we don't hear something by next year, then SOD 3 is a lot further out than I, even I initially thought. Because I put the game at a minimum releasing in 2024. That's a minimum. Like I, I, I said, the earliest this game's going to come out is 2024. Um... But I think that we should at least get a gameplay reveal, you know, at least a year or so before the game releases. That That's how I look at it. Generally, you get a game reveal about a year or so before the game drops. Ah, oh, Survival with Ajax. Thank you for the super chat, man. Over 700 people watching, only 440 likes. Hit that like. Hey, man, I, I do appreciate it. It's free. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, and I do appreciate you know over 400 likes on the stream already too. That that's freaking dope as hell, guys. All right, um, got the water on. Go to the kitchen, get some snacks crafted or some energy drinks. Okay, and then topped off, topped off. Plague Carrier crafted. Over 700 people watching and only 440 likes. Hit that button, people. It's free. I appreciate you surviving, seriously. It means a lot, dude. Oh, Peter! Uh, that's that's mad cool, because uh, actually, I'm going to PAX East this year, too. Uh, so if any of you guys are going to PAX East this year, hey, uh, I'll be there. What We're going what, Friday, Saturday? Yeah, we'll be there Friday, Saturday. Um, so if any of you guys are going to PAX East and you want to meet me at, like IRL, say what's up, chop it up. Um, I'll, I'll be there. So that it'll be dope as hell to, to meet some of you guys if you guys are going. I had an aunt who lived somewhere around here and fancied herself a survivalist. I, I know I'm not really all that important of a person to meet, but still, you know, just in case anybody cares. <laughs> Yeah, it's in Boston. Hmm. Still don't know what to do with that other large slot right now, chat. Don't know what to do with that other large slot. I've been... 
I got a bunch of materials. What the hell can I build? I mean, I could build. Nope. Nope. You know what I could do, though? I could promote a builder leader and build a sniper tower. Because the sniper towers actually do a lot for in this update. They're, they're actually pretty powerful facilities. Uh, they increase your s passive scouting to 500 meters at your base. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I don't need my trader leader anymore anyways. What? Only 460 likes? Man, he's charming. He's awesome. He's a blast to watch. And then there's that Marine, Brian. He's okay too, I guess. <laughs> Swatty brother, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the love, dude. I, that Marine, Brian, that guy's a, that guy's a jerk. Oh, Blackbeard, I appreciate that, man. With the three months, brother. Thank you so much. And Brian, I'm glad you're enjoying the videos, man. Oh, Peter, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll definitely be there. <laughs> Parents, I'm going, I'm going to PAX East to avenge the falling grandmas. <laughs> Stuart with the super chat, brother. Thank you, thank you, man. Um, new here, I was wondering why the zombies burst into flames when they're near your base. Um, so that's because of outpost traps. Technically, we uh, we have like little mines set up all in these, this gray area. So anytime zombies walk into the area, they're 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 getting blown up. Ah, uh, Jack, Jack, super five, brother. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do, chat. Let me uh. Let me see. I, I need to see if we even have a builder leader. Warlord. He is a builder, but I can't promote him yet. Um, builder. Here we go. Fonzie. So we'll, we'll, we'll demote her. What's up, kid? We need our leader to make tough calls. That's just not you. Hey, dude, I am new here and was wondering why the zombies burst into flames when near your base is lol, but two streamer keep it up, man. This sucks, man. It's just gonna keep happening. Nothing I can really do about it. I mean, it is what it is. It's not a super, super huge deal. Um... Okay, so now let's get our builder promoted. And that's a big misconception. I try to tell people this all the time. Um, people think that you have to have said leader in order to maintain the, uh, the, the leader building. Now, if you look at my base, I have a trade depot. I built it with my trade leader, but that's it. You just need them there to build it. As soon as you click that build button, you can demote them immediately and go and get somebody else. Um, yeah, you only needed to build it, not maintain it. So as you guys can see, I still have the trade depot, and now I can go ahead and build the build the, the builder's building, which is the tower here. Uh, and that's how you go and get all of the different leader 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 buildings in your base. Okay, let's go scout this area out. Later, everybody. Place as an outpost would be a big deal. I wonder if that's actually blood I'm tasting in the air. 
No, it doesn't matter what I do here, because Blakeheart's already awake. I think. I might be in an unawake hearts, but... Let's see how many of these play cards woke up on their own. I already know two of them did. Two of them woke up for whatever reason they wanted to wake up. And there it is, chat. 500 likes. Thank you so much. I have a feeling that might be a great outpost location. Yep, so that one woke up on its own. So that's three hearts that woke up on their own. Looks like some people have settled in over there. I think I see a plague heart. Another one that woke up on its own. So they all just woke up eventually. They, they, they need to they need to change that chat immediately. It's terrible. Terrible design. Hate it. There's nothing you can do about it as a player just happens. Nothing more to see here. And that's why there's you see how many heart hordes there are now just just tons of hordes and absolutely nothing like I had nothing to do with this. They it's just the game decided that it wanted to be harder and it just did it on its own. Okay, we found a location for our clinic. The zombie situation is out of control. Can you help us? Uh, but that's so. But the thing is, uh, Yusuf, and that thing—that's what it has, it has to either something to do with like once you progress to a certain le level, or uh, I don't know if it's a bug. I asked. Um, nobody knows for sure if it's a bug. None of the devs have answered the question. Um, but the way it happens, it's so consistent, and it only happens at a certain point in a lethal zone playthrough that it it seems intended. Um. That's the only reason why it bothers me is because it does come off as intended. Uh, and even when I asked Jawa, he wasn't sure. He thought I was talking about something else. So um, that's the only reason why I'm, I'm kind of like, eh, about it. Because if there was like an, an AI NPC or something, but no, they just, I had it wake up before in an area. There was no, um, there was no enclaves. There was, I was, have never even been over there. I, I never went to Fairfield a single time. Um, and then the, the heart's started waking up so it's just like i've never come over here ever chat and i've literally never been over here all these hearts are awake and just putting out so many hordes but these hordes are kind of irrelevant like they're yeah they're making a siege site here but it's still really not that big of a deal so that's four out of seven scouted since these hearts are awake could kind of just kind of push in and scout the rest of them. Why not, right? So there's no date on when this update's coming out yet. Oh, those hordes, though, chat. That's what I mean. Is it? Those hordes are everywhere. Hmm. 
But the thing is that I, I feel like if it was a bug, it would happen on the other difficulties. And from what I've heard, it's uh, this only happens on Lethal Zone. So I think they added it as a like a Lethal Zone modifier. Oh, this heart's still asleep. Like it's it's something that happens in lethal zone, like you know, to make it lethal. And but it's still not good. Like yeah, it doesn't make things harder. Not r really. It just makes me like right now that those play cards are awake. I just have the urge to just speed run and kill them all, so I don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel that players shouldn't have to feel that way. How many hours total have I put in this game? Probably like at this point, probably like six thousand hours or so. Um, so I have quite a few playthroughs of State of Decay 2. I mean, we took a really, really big break for almost two months. Uh, we took a break. We weren't playing any State of Decay at all. Um, and that was just because nothing really was coming out. There was no updates. There was no news. Um, so we just kind of... And that's the thing is I've done so much in the game that I only really play it now when I'm covering an update or something like that. That um, site looks like it has a plague heart. Because at that point, it's like, what else can I do? I've done everything for the most part. Okay, so there still is two hearts asleep. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I believe the seventh is going to be... Look at all these freaking hordes, chat. Look at that crap. That's one pharaoh. Or one screamer, three bloaters, and sixteen zombies. And there, a lot of these are going to reinforce here. If I still had my food outposts here, going, the, all this crap would be just null, null and void. Yeah, they're, they're trying. Uh, it happened to you in both Nightmare and Dread, Zerk? The, the play hearts woke up. Okay, so maybe, maybe it is a just consistent thing. See, cut. Kalog, I, I could do that, um, but all it's going to turn into, because it wouldn't be difficult. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be straight up. If I went around and I woke up every single play heart on the map, right? Um... And I that that in itself is a challenge. But like, say I went and I woke up every single play run on the or, or heart on the map, it wouldn't be an enjoyable playthrough for anybody to watch because I'm just going to speed run it. Because if I want to win, I have to be faster than the game. So I would literally have to, in order to keep up with the game, I would just have to kill all the play cards as fast as I possibly could. So it would just turn into me speed running the game, and then I would just beat it, and it'd be over. Um, like right now, like I'm contemplating as soon as morning comes, because this is just so like this is ridiculous, you know. Um, I could set up an outpost here to, to combat this, which I might do in the meantime. But I got the resources, so I'm sitting here like I might just kill the play cards in the morning. I do want to scout this one out though. This sucks because there's a hostile enclave here. We're going to make clearing that play card a little annoying. Juan with the super chat, brother. Thank you. Thank you, man. Ooh, good hit. Um... Have you thought more about the stream idea brought up a few days back uh, where you do a SOD playthrough but run a poll on big decisions? So, I, I, yeah, I, I would like to do something like that. I thought about doing it more like like what Fall Down Go Boom does because a poll, the only problem with polls is it's, it takes a long time to, to, like, do it. So I was thinking about doing more of, like, a, like a rules run where, like, um, you guys, I, I don't know if we'll do it through, like, Super Chats or, or, or whatnot, but say somebody writes something and like for you know for the next 10 minutes uh 
I can only use revolvers or for the next hour I have to use uh knife only like they're, they're like stuff like that you know and those are like the the rules because if i do polls like yeah i could i could have you guys pull some big decisions but i don't really feel like that would really impact because I'll, I'll have time to adjust to what you guys are saying but if it's more of a on the fly change because that's how fall down does his rules runs is um he'll be playing and then like somebody will donate like i don't know a dollar or two or whatever and then they'll be like no um no guns for the next hour or whatever, you know, and this is an example and then fall can't use a gun for an hour And it's it's tough. I've literally seen he gets wiped like 99 point like a hundred percent of the time <laughs> uh, But it's always fun to watch it is always a blast to watch But yeah, I could pull like survivors I could pull base location stuff like that but even then like that stuff's very low impact on a playthrough for the most part i mean it won't really do much to, i could live anywhere for the most part i could play the game with pretty much any survivor even if they have bad traits because my the way my play style is You know what? Screw it. We won't even worry about that. We'll just... Wait till you get a team of one lung elderly. <laughs> See, even then, though, uh, it really wouldn't matter because the way State of Decay 2 has set up the systems, um, the stamina system, like somebody with one lung stamina items work exactly the same with them. So it's not like it changes the way the survivor operates. It's still he's it's still going to be a great survivor. You know what I mean? Um, with stamina items. But yeah, it, it, it would be terrible. Any other. But I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. Blunt only weapons for the next hour, Brian. Come on. Blunt only <laughs> weapons for the next hour, Brian. Come on, Marine. Semper that five. Right, we need a hand over here. Roger. That. I, I got right. you, Swanee. I got you. <laughs> Brother, that is a huge super chat, man. You did not have to do that, man. I appreciate it. Blunt only weapons? I, I'll do it. Screw it, right? What's the worst thing that's going to happen? Kind of works out. So those are the last play cards on the map. I mean, Sledgehammer's pretty blunt, too, right? Let me see. Who the hell am I going to use? We'll use him. I won't even bring a gun with me, Swanee. I won't even bring a gun with me. So does this mean I can't use any fire either? Swanee, does that mean no fire? Sweet. I, I was a Marine, and I served in both the Marine Corps and the Army. Uh, Marine Corps first, and then Army was second.
All right, blunt only. Got it. Got it. Uh, I don't know if I have a blunt secondary weapon. This chisel's probably a little more blunt than that knife. So we'll roll with that. There. I'm going to go out and try to clear six play cards with a sledgehammer only. Usually I bring a gun for the ferals at least. Hmm. So this is going to be uh, quite interesting, actually. Damn. That is so thick right there, chat. That's crazy. Uh, you know, I might save that one for last just because. Well, the object of this playthrough here that we were doing was to test the map specifically. Like, uh, we've already tested the system pretty thoroughly. Now we're just kind of trying to see how the... Because, you know, the maps in State of Decay are their own characters for the most part. They have their own feels to them, um, different bases and setups and layouts and stuff like that. So we're kind of trying to test each map now and see how how do they feel? How, how does the outpost placement feel? How do the bases feel? Um, what is the plague heart density like? You know, how is the overlap? And Meager Valley is really, really bad when it comes to overlap and plague hearts waking up each other. Trumbull Valley wasn't too bad because everything was so segregated like you could wake up play arts in one area and then not worry about it just being this constant chain daisy chain reaction um meager it was really bad with the daisy chain it was just killed a heart woke up another one killed a heart woke up another one killed a heart woke up another one it was just a non-stop thing um No heavy weapons. Wait, Swanee, is this is, this sledgy is blunt, bro? Is this sledgy not blunt enough? I'm already not bringing a gun nor fire. Hey, I, 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 come on. Well, honey, dude. <laughs> as long as it's blunt. Okay, okay. Yeah. So the sledgehammer's blunt, man. It's as blunt as they get. It's a square. All right. You know what? You know what, chat? I'll do this with a fucking baseball bat, all right? We'll do it with a baseball bat. How about that? It doesn't get any more blunt than a damn baseball bat. Mm. All right. Oh, I'm, but I grab Semplock set chat. Do you, do you not? Uh, it's either scent block. Blunt or heavy weapon, no scent block. I mean, I would rather run heavy weapon, no scent block. But I, I mean, I've obviously scent blocks a little on the cheat inside. But I mean, we're going. 
It's up to Swanee, brother. Scent block or no scent block? It's up to Swanee, chat. I'm... I'll put it in the trunk, dude. It is It is pretty OP. I'm not going to lie. You ain't cheating. If you... <laughs> you ain't cheating. You ain't trying. I mean, chat, we're going lethal zone play cards. No gun, baseball bat only. All right. I won't, I won't, I won't use scent block either. We'll just freaking baseball bat the damn play card to death. And, and everything else, chat. All right. No scent block. Just baseball bat. Zombies in all directions. Better be careful. I don't even know how long. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to repair the bat before the damn. In between killing hearts, chat. As long as it's blunt, you use whatever you want. What I brother. said was it has to be blunt. Any other restrictions are on you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, well I'll give it the baseball bat. Really? We'll start with a different play card. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not in. The, I'm not in the. I haven't got in the swing of things yet. Got to, to deal with all that with a baseball bat. Secure this place with a plague heart so close by. Okay, time for a close encounter. I'm 
motherfucker dodged it. Fucking attack animation every three seconds, chat. Keep it. <laughs> Literally, not a single opening. That's how we take this town back. Probably gonna miss that. The one thing I forgot to grab was plague juice. In the chat, when I tell you there was a zombie attack, because the thing is, is you have to watch the zombie attack animations when you're when you're doing the hearts like that with any melee weapon. Um, and I would try to swing my weapon, and boom, there was an attack. So I would have to dodge. Now I would go to oh, here's an opening. Then I'd, I'd have to dodge, and I'd have to. And it was literally there was no openings, zero openings. I'm like yo. Because there was just so many zombies. Generally, I would burn them if they got that thick. But they were there were so many zombies that one of them was attacking me literally any second. Every second. Wow, thank you so much for the super chat, man. 
baseball bat and boots for the win. I'm going to go back. Uh, I just forgot to grab play cures for whatever reason. Okay, so can I, can I use a heavy weapon now, chat? I, I used the baseball bat. I did it. I, I feel like I earned my heavy weapon back. <laughs> to speed things up a little bit. That baseball bat is trash. Ha look, 121 parts to repair it, chat. I won't even be able to kill all six play cards. All right, let me see. Um, this actually has a ton of durability. Right, now, I can, now I can grab play cures. Let's clear out some of these Zed infestations. Can I, can, I, can I bring some fire chat crackers with me, chat? Can I, can I bring some fire crackers? Is that is that okay? Cascade Hills is one of your favorite maps, but the bases suck uh, so much I never want to stick around. Love to see. Yeah, actually, you know, um, Cascade Hills is one of my favorite maps, and I think actually that map is going to be really really good with this uh, with this update. Yeah. I, I just I just need to uh, keep the zombies. Some of those damn zombies are uh, preoccupied, or it's going to be super annoying. Cascade Hills is one of my favorite maps, but the bases suck so much I never want to stick around. Would love to see them touch up maps bases equally. Yeah, it, it, the, the, that's just the problem, you know, like, if you look at Providence Ridge and, uh, in Trouble Valley, you know, the maps, are, the bases are really, really good. Um, it's just kind of one of those things. It, it is what it is. I, I, I feel like we'll just see better bases in the next game. Uh, but for yeah, for the most part, Cascade does have some pretty meh bases compared to like Mager or even Drucker County. Uh, the Container Fort's pretty good. I like the church on top of the hill and the and the bridge fort. Um, I find all those bases to be pretty unique. Did you come from? Fire in the hole.
not have to die. Since the outbreak, Red Talon has looted hundreds of clinics and hospitals. They're sitting on a huge stockpile of men. But those of us out here just die. Her blood is on their hands. Plague zombies in this area. Ready for another challenge? Play in black and white to clear out another heart. Rolling on the floor, laughing, rolling on the floor, in black laughing, air. rolling on the floor, laughing. How do I how do you even play in black and white? Oh my door is gone, that sucks. 45 minutes to go. Wait, wait, I'm I'm on a I'm on a time? I already know somebody in chat's gonna say the firecrackers are too OP, right? Way too OP. <laughs> How are firecrackers OP chat? Well, the thing is, is it's not that stamina items are too OP. If you're not using stamina items, this style of play cart clearing isn't even relevant. Like, it's not viable whatsoever. Um, survivors just don't, like, no matter what weapon you're using, it, it just, it's not viable. If you're not using stamina items, you need to use guns, you need to use explosives, fire, combinations of things like that. But if you're meleeing play carts, the only option you have is stamina items. Or it's just not even possible.
so many zombies, I can't even hit the damn heart. That should mean a lot fewer plague zombies in this area. Who only? Man, you guys are really trying to get my ass killed, aren't you? The shitty blunt weapon wasn't enough. Oh, yeah. This place could come in real handy as an outpost. I crafted those plague cures, chat, right? And I never grabbed them. <laughs> I never grabbed him. But, uh, Live Pets, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Wow, thank you for the super chat. Who only cha- Hey, we're blowing this town. I guess that makes Who it your only lucky challenge. Day. That savagery officially knows knows no bounds, Chad. It's, no, it's limitless. Challenge for the last one rolling on the floor, laughing, rolling on the floor, laughing, rolling on the floor, laughing. Turn down the saturation on my monitor. Plague zombies in all directions. Better be careful. One of the sad things, I don't even know how to adjust my monitor. I, I just plug it in and whatever it looks like, it looks like. That's why all my monitors look so different. <laughs> I'll I'll change I change it to like vivid or PC mode. At least Those turned on. Um, the one down there, we make sure that's turned on. And then I believe this one too. This is farming supply. Let me grab these plague cures that I uh, was supposed to grab the first time. Yo, we're running dangerously low on ammo. Our ammo is stupid, stupid low right now.
Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm feeling the time crunch more than anything. Swanee, brother, thank you for the super med. How much time do I have left? Everybody, thank you for over 600 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. Eat this room. The reason why this is going to suck is because the screamers are going to just consistently keep screaming and stunning me over and over and over again. seeing more and more infestations around here.
should clear the rest out now. Alien, thank you so much for the 17 months. I appreciate it, man. But actually, not clearing the zombies is kind of working in my favor, only because um, there's so many zombies spawn that the game can't spawn anymore, and it's not spawning in ferals. <laughs> So, in a way, it's actually making it uh, a little bit easier. Except Watch now the that barrel. definitely going to be a feral. Well, let me get the first phase. Let me get the first phase. Let me get the first phase. Yes. No fucking stamina, dude. Plague zombies in this area. Wait, what did I do that's cheating? I mean, like, most people in the world wouldn't even be able to do that. That's why I need to know why. What, I'm, what am I doing that's cheating? Ugh, the hair tastes like blood soup. He's gonna be messy as hell. My dude has literally no stamina. Like, it's gonna not even matter here in a second. Oh, my eyeball. It's in my eye, chat. In my eye. That sabotaged me. I can't see. I think it's an eyelash. It's trying to assassinate me. 
bat's about to break soon. this. Oh, using a knife to finish off barrels? I mean, I guess so. But it's like the close combat weapon, man. I, I, the game designed like that, bro. The game made it that way. No, no, I, I'm using the, I'm using the last chisel, and it's a dull chisel. We switched to the chisel, chat. We, we switched to the chisel. Remember? It's blunt. It's pretty blunt. You know? It's a blunt chisel. But technically, it was the drop kick, which is the, it was the boot. It was the boot. That that really took down the pharaoh, you know what I mean? That no sh <laughs> No, it's not. Kill this last plague heart, our town would be safe. Dagner's like an actual metal worker and shit. He's like, nah, bro. <laughs> I got about 70 of those in my fucking workshop right now. They're sharp as hell. There's no difference between the, the knives and stuff, it's just cosmetic. Swanny, I didn't know that the drop kick was off limits, dude. I thought I thought that it was just it was it was known that I would have to drop kick the ferals. Wasn't sure I'd see you all again. That or them assholes are gonna be chasing me around the whole damn time. What? It's 
what happens when you're wide on all sides, chat. You ever get stuck walking into the door? Really? There we go. Wow, this thing actually has monster durability. It's at 200. It went up over 100. Generally, they break around like 150 or whatever. Um, I've never seen a weapon that went up into the 200s to be repaired. That's quite ridiculous. Apocalyptic life isn't all that bad. You know what? The, 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 you want to see what chat wants, chat? I, I, I know I know what you guys want. Deep down, I know what you guys want. And and I'll show you right now. This, this is this is what this is what you guys want for me. All right. Well, give me a second. I got I got to prepare here. Do we have a backup location in case our base gets overrun? <laughs> Too loud. We shouldn't have any more problem with zombie infestations for a while. You seem like an okay sword. Why don't you take up with us instead of staying here? So, super strength or super speed? I take super speed, especially these days. Ha! <laughs> Ricky. Sorry, dude. This man's got level 3 fighting. Alright. He, Ricky is the definition of ass. This is this is what chat wants. Get the, um, if you guys want a survivor to die that bad, get a random survivor for the boot challenge. The plague territory, more Zeds are always close. Time to 
Take out the trash. I gotta stay away from that cloud. I need a break. Actually, gotta stop going through that window. That shit's the worst. grab don't even know how you do that but the game didn't make me take damage so it's okay I have to permanently let this. I'm at to let the zombies down me here in a sec. Actually, it won't matter. They'll do it. It should be able to work naturally. I'm dumb, you're right. Oh, we gotta get down again. Nope, that's too much. Way too many. Generally, what you gotta do is you gotta try to let the down zombies down you, because once you get to uh, too low a health, 
you uh you lose like all function period and you can't move i should have brought meds with me instead of uh but yeah i realized last second that i didn't bring any meds with me um i should have brought meds instead of play cures and it would have been way better i don't know if i have any more rickies that i could recruit Flag, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it, man. All right, let me let me go finish this off. Uh, William with the super chat, man. Um, have I got a mechanic yet? No, I never ended up getting a mechanic. No, Swanee, did I did I break time? Uh, gaff took terrible. Yo, our med supply is low, and we do not want to run out. That wanted blood, so I had to give him blood. Ten minutes. Okay, cool. This is the last one. It's funny. If I would have grabbed, yeah, if I would have not grabbed, because I didn't need the plague cures. Realistically, um, if I would have had meds on me, I probably would have. Got, would, I want. I want to say I would have done it, but I would have. I would have been closer to completing it if I had meds. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. What, like two hits, man. Actually, I don't know. The baseball bat's pretty weak. That other bat we were using was actually pretty decent. The Bell Club? in this town. 
shit. It's a screamer. For that to clear. Ooh, shh. These dudes are shooting at me. All right, well, that's all the rest of them, chat. We did it. <laughs> Look at the flaming health barrel! That was a good challenge, though, Swan. That was a good challenge, man. I needed that. I needed that. Now remember, this new stuff's for sharing. What map is next? I, I don't know, guys. Let me let me actually throw that up on the on a poll right now. Um, what map? Um, Drucker or All right, and there it is, chat. Throw that out there for you guys. How do you get the plague station? So, um, the only way to get that is either a from a trader, like I did. Um, in this playthrough, I actually got it from a trader. So anytime a trader shows up on your map, um, even if it's n not necessarily a trader you need, always check it. For instance, I got a wandering trader here. I don't know what type of trader. You could scroll over it, and this one says uh, a network barter agent. Uh, what you're looking for is you're looking for it to say an echo. Well, I forgot what it would. It says, uh, I believe it's an echo. Uh, it might just be an echo trader. I don't know. There might be a, somebody in chat will type the name of it, but it's it's something along the lines of an echo trader. Um, uh, echo lab. Yeah. Echo lab trader. Uh, so once you see that, you can go with them and then trade with them and they'll sometimes have that for sale or you'll get a mysterious one or mysterious broadcast mission, which will be an enclave. They'll radio you up. So you go and you visit them and they'll be like, hey, we all have blood plague. There's an airdrop that came in. Can you go pick up the cure for us? You can keep everything else. And then when you go and you do that mission, you get the cure for them. But uh, also inside the, the airdrop is the 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 uh crafting station the and you, you use that that that's like the two ways i know to get it so we haven't played cascade on this um on this update we did do it on another playthrough but i think we also did joker county on the, uh also so uh the ones we've done so far we've done trumbull valley we've done providence ridge and we've done um maker valley
Uh, but I, th I thank you guys so much for almost 700 likes on the stream. Um, Mike asks, uh, what's better, Super Chats or Gifted Subs? So th th it's all the same. Legit, Mike, it, 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 it's literally all the same, but the, the, the only difference is uh, if somebody gifts memberships, like other people are benefiting from that. You know what I mean? So I still get the same amount. You know, if, if you do a gifted membership, um, YouTube still takes the same amount, but, you know, there's there's a third party in a gifted membership. So, uh, you know, it, it, for me, it's all the same, but, you know, if you want somebody else to benefit from it, also you could gift memberships for sure. Uh, so on this next playthrough, I think I'm going to actually change it up a little bit. I want to try a nightmare action difficulty, lethal rest of it. Just to, I want to see how the balance feels, um, you know, if we start tweaking. Because I've done straight lethal twice. I've done nightmare once. Now I kind of want to see a hybrid between lethal and nightmare. So I'm going to have this set up like this. It'll be nightmare action difficulty and then the rest of them it will be lethal zone uh just to kind of see uh how it's balanced because then the, the as you guys can see um play cards are much harder to destroy blood plague survivor blood plague kills survivors quickly they actually added some new verbiage to this zombies are much tougher deal more damage zombies are much or aggressive hordes are extra large or contain armored zombies. Zombie sieges at your base pose a dire threat. Combat action costs more stamina. Let me see. So what does it say about lethal zone? XL absurdly difficult. The strong play card doesn't kill you. Yeah. Zombie sieges at your base are deadly. Zombie pursue noise relentlessly. Every zombie is a deadly threat. Um, gunfire will draw an insane amount of zombies. Vehicles fall apart from only manual damage. Just trying to see what verbiage they added in here. Oh, Mike, dude, that is absolutely huge. Seriously, holy crap. 10 gifted members, man? Wow, thank you so much. And everybody who received one of those memberships, welcome to the family. I, the blood ferals, normal ferals, none of that stuff matters to me. Uh, it's more or less, I want to see the settings, um, because there's some ridiculously tuned settings in Lethal, and I wanted to see if those apply to Nightmare, like how much different it would feel with Nightmare. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, well, I, I look at Plague Ferals and regular Ferals pretty much the same. There's not really a big difference. safe and sound at Crow Lake. Don't you want to see how lethal Green Zone gets if you wake up everything? And location will vastly improve our ability to help. We can't be everywhere immediately, though, so y'all are going to have to hold on for a bit. The only problem with Green Zone is there's only, like, five play cards or something crazy on the map. Seven play cards. That's it. That place is just thick with zombies. Yeah, seven, seven, seven play cards. Jimbo, were you asking if I'm trolling or was somebody else trolling? Mm hmm. Green zone challenge. Uh, 
I mean, I would like to see what the um the system looked like, but you know what? We can actually just do this. Oh uh, yeah, it'll work. Gonna need to break out the heavy artillery on this freak. Better make this last mag count. I forgot green zone just shows you where everything is automatically, doesn't it? I don't even know how to wake up all the play cards though. Like I think I gotta like Well that was loud. Ah! Gotta tap them, give them all a little love tap. Unless, so this should be like max standing. This is like max difficulty green zone though, chat. Um, what the fuck is that? Oh yeah, I forgot this with Juggernaut. <laughs> I was like, yo, what is that? There's a new zombie in the game. Part of me wants to know how Plague Hearts control their territory. The other part just wants to destroy them. Uh, because this isn't a fresh start, I'm actually in the max level. Difficulty of green zone. I don't see any Zeds, but that won't last here in plague territory. Plague hearts must give off tremendous heat. Yeah, so uh, how State of Decay difficulties work uh, work is, like, you're playing at Nightmare Zone, but when the game starts, it's not technically at max difficulty. There's like, a, there's like a ramp up, you know what I mean? So imagine you're in Nightmare Zone, but Nightmare Zone still scales from 0 to 10. As you're playing, you start off at, you know, 0, and as you're making your way through your playthrough, eventually you hit 10. Now you're at max difficulty. The game's not going to get any harder in that difficulty. Um, it's the same thing for every difficulty. So green zone, you start off, there's barely anything on the map. Um, and then as you're playing through your playthrough and you kill more play cards and this and this and that, eventually you'll make it to level 10 difficulty pretty much. Um, now that's all hidden behind the scenes like stuff. It's it, There's a bunch of things factor into the game getting harder and harder. Um, but... Right now, because I came from a max lethal game, all my people have max standing. Um, we're just jumping right into ten. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be it's gonna be as hard as it can get right off the bat. That's why the heads of fast seen a juggernaut immediately.
Yeah, I'm not getting the wake up message. Yeah, I haven't seen it once. It might be a bug, though, due to the fact that I switched maps. Oh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not making any, I want to see how difficult the seat, I just want to see how hard it is, period. Yeah, when I tested this on lethal, I didn't, I didn't have any outpost traps or anything. This ain't the frickin' play card building, that's why. Dur -dur -dur. Yikes, too loud. Do I think they should rework the tutorial? Um Probably, but they need to have, they, I don't know if they're working on trifolds or something um, to explain it because, yeah, it is, it is going to be a little confusing to people, I think, but I'm pretty sure they'll have like trifolds that explain it. And what I mean by trifolds are, are these, um, they'll have these things that pop up and it'll explain like you know because i don't know if people know know even know about these if you're new to the game you can click on this and uh it pretty much tells you everything you know like you can look up anything fighting zombies vehicles infestations i don't uh you know so i'm pretty sure it'll all be included in here how to choose recruits it, it, it breaks everything down um but a lot of players don't even know these exist Yeah, no arc today. I believe we're playing arc tomorrow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. I mean, green zone is pretty passive for the most part. I mean, there's zombies, though. There's, I can't sit there and say there's no zombies. I mean, it's like four or five. That mini map backwards? I don't know. I think I think I had actually I think I hit a setting earlier. That might have mixed messed it. Yeah, no. What? Yep, lock mini map rotate. I was wondering that too. I was like, yo, why does my mini map look so weird? I, I was actually wondering that earlier during the playthrough. I was like, usually my mini map like rotates and it's like fixed. <laughs> yeah, I actually hit that on. Thank you for pointing that out. See, I was like, yo, this is so weird. Couldn't figure it out. 
I just couldn't put my thumb on it. I just knew something was different. But I don't really look at the minimap like that anyways. So it just like was like whatever. Oh, I, I, I we got the notice that time. Oh, because I had notifications off. That's why, chat. I had notifications off, so... We didn't see it. You can have 50 survivors in your legacy pool. Wow! Thank you for the super chat, brother. Gear all might recruit a bunch of people and then change the lethal for a siege. Aren't much good to us, but having a workshop would change that. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't really make it any harder. I want to test a full lethal siege on my main community. Um, like, my forever community. I have a forever community here on beta that I want to do an actual test with. Uh, they're fully geared up and everything. That that would be more of a, you know, a challenge compared to, like, just, like, doing it on green and then changing it over. It would take too long. I already have a fully established 80-plus day community. Um, full base, weapons, all that yeah. stuff. I even have a Haven device to see how that will help out. It's so fun to see a new player playing the GameCube. Hey, Mike, I appreciate that, man. And thank you so much for the sub, uh, you know, supporting the channel and stuff. Man. I really appreciate it. Gear way up and recruit a bunch, then change to lethal for a siege. What is that? Is that the D-Sword? It's so little. It's so cute, chat. A little baby horde. Ah, David. What's up, brother? So that's every play card awake. So let's get back and see what happens for the map. No, I wasn't trying to win with the main community. I just kind of wanted to see what a... Because it's my beta community. It is that, it's not like my actual real forever community. Um, I just use them to test things. So I wanted to test, you know, waking up probably like three or four play cards and then letting them just go and build up and see, see what it's like. Because the amount of siege hordes or siege sites is actually limited. Um, so it's like, even if you have 20 play cards awake, there's no difference between having like five play cards awake and 20 play cards. Like it doesn't make it any harder. The difficulty only goes so high. Because each base only has a set amount of seed sites, and I think it's like three or four. So if anything, I think they should increase that limit. If there is actually a limit. But at the same time, I understand them not increasing it because then it could just create a, an extremely, extremely bad situation. All right, so let's see. So we, on green zone, already have a seed site there. 
infestation there. Uh, so let me see. Are they all going to show up on the map? Is the question. Let me do this. We're going to go infestations. Scout all infestations. Okay, so even on Green Zone, that, that radio call and still takes five minutes. There's no difference. Oh, uh, it's just as long. We really should be focused on wiping out all the plague hearts in town. Green Zone, the one thing about Green Zone is that I know you take like mat like way less damage. Let's get a feral over here. I want to test the damage. Like, survivors are all, like, super, super powerful in green. don't do a ton of damage. Yeah, the stamina is crazy. It's like you have a constant stim flowing into your body. So we should already have quite a bit of um, infestations building up. I want to test how much damage this this guy does. Juggernauts usually do crazy amounts of damage, so they can kill you in like two hits on lethal zone. Do take injuries, though.
I didn't even have to use stamina items. That's crazy, chat. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot of damage. So we got seven, six seconds. Let's see what these infestations have already done. Now, this is green zone, chat. We've got way too many infestations in this neighborhood. Only four. One seed site. Now, if this was lethal, I feel like it would have already been way more than that. But that's still quite fast. If you if you think about it, four infestations, seven play cards, and they've only been going for what? Oh no, there's another one up here too. So five, five infestations, and it's only been what? Maybe 10, 15 minutes. They're all pretty low level, though. They're all level one. This one's about to reinforce. So the, the, the infesting hordes are way, way small, too, on green zone. Like, wicked, wicked small. I would like to see what a level... So the, uh, the level one doesn't even have a, the, um, a, a bloater anymore. Uh, as, as you guys know, in lethal zone, the infestations... Level one infestations have a screamer and a bloater. This just has a screamer. I don't know where that one's headed. I want to see what a level 2 has in it, but we don't have a level 2. This one only has one Screamer. But you gotta think, this is 7 awake play cards. So if you're a player who's going around waking up 7 plus play cards, like, yeah, you know, you're going to probably have an infested map, but at the end of the day, that's that's your fault. You know what I mean? Because if I only had, like, one awake, you, could, you know, I'd probably have a tenth of... I probably would only have one or two infestations, maybe. Yeah, when these infest, they disappear, right? That one appeared. Best difficulty to start at? Standard zone. Just start with the standard zone. Uh, oh, if you're familiar with um, like third-person shooters, um, if you're d pretty decent at gaming, for the most part, I would definitely say standard zone would probably... But green zone is oh, a good area to just learn. You know what I mean? To come just... Because there's a lot of mechanics in state of K. A lot, a lot of mechanics that you have to learn. Small things, especially with this new system. Um, so, you know, not having the zombies down your back while you're just trying to learn the game. So even starting in green zone. You know, green zone, standard zone, I would say is, is, is probably good for you. Um... But um, at, you know when the first game, when the game first came out, standard zone was it. Like that was the base difficulty. But I even said, you know, back in the day before St green zone was a thing, that standard zone is quite difficult for new players, like people who have never played these type of games before. Um, it can be a lot to take on, if I'm being honest with you. So realistically, yeah, I mean, green zone would probably work. Standard zone, I wouldn't go anything above that though, until you learn the game. So as you guys can see, it's it, it's it's pretty decent, but siege wise, we're not we're not close to even. I don't even know where the hell did my siege build and go. I think it broke down. Like it it, it took itself apart, and now it's moving around. <laughs> uh Doctor Diesel, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So yeah, I mean, we got the hordes moving around. There's a bunch of stuff happening, but I feel like Green Zone is definitely a slower pace. 
100% slower pace than uh, if we were playing on like Nightmare or whatever. I wonder if I uh let me let me do something real quick, chat. This might actually I think the action difficulty changes how fast things grow. So I want to see if I switch it to lethal, let it grow super, super quick. Away from that bloater. I'm exhausted. Yeah, the stamina is already gone. Big stamina changes between green and lethal. So we're making a bunch of noise right now, because uh, I think they said when you're making noise, yeah, noise determines the growth rate of infestation. So the more noise we're making, the faster these things should be be pumping. Until I saw you play it and all the stuff they had added, ah, <laughs> tipsy. Well, if I could bring you on, on, you know, back into the game, that's awesome, man. And the same thing with you, Doctor. That, 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 that's that's really great, man. I just saw. Uh, I I wish that this game was more known, you know, because like there's so many people I've met that are just like I don't I've never even heard of that game. I'm like State of the Kid, you never heard of State of the Kid? People are like, nah, dude. Well, I bet you heard of Call of Duty, though, right? <laughs> I tell people I play zombie games. They're like, yeah, dude, I play COD zombies, and I'm like, no, I mean I play like real zombie games, dude, like. Like real zombie games. Any of you guys got those friends that are like, Odd Zombies is a real zombie game? <laughs> okay, so nothing is popping out. I was hoping that switching out would have like got this into like super speed. We had access to water. This place would be perfect. Yeah, so I don't think it's gonna really do much. Oh no, I'll keep I'll keep checking this, but yeah, for the most part, I mean as you guys seen though, the initial spread even on green was pretty fast. Um So yeah, I don't but I mean realistically, what player is gonna go out and just wake up every single play card on the map, you know what I mean? But it seems like the infestations are breaking themselves down and moving around quite frequently. Like, it's like they, they can't figure out where they want to settle. Uh, do I play Daisy? I don't actively play Daisy. I have played quite a bit of Daisy, though. Great work, everyone. We've built a home strong enough to survive the blood plague threat. So it looks like... Let me see. How many votes do we got on this? So Drucker County... Drucker County, it looks like what we're going to do next. Have I played a World War Z game? Yeah, I've played that one. It was pretty, you know, it's, it's one of those wave-based games, like I said. That game is fun to me, um, but at the end of the day, it's still kind of, it's kind of arcadey. You know what I mean? There's no survival elements to it. It's just kind of like a, a, a wave defender. You build up turrets, and you just, just the waves of zombies just get bigger and bigger, and it's just, those kind of games, um, 
it, it, they get really, really repetitive to me. Like every game, obviously, gets repetitive, even State of Decay. But there's there's a lot of uh, dynamic things that happen in State of Decay where a game like uh, you know World War Z is very predictable. You know, it's a wave and a wave and a wave and a wave, and you know it's going to be harder. Go, go set this up, put this turret here, put these traps here, do this, do that. Like I said, it, it's fun. It is a lot of fun, but I, I get over those kind of games really, really quick. And I, I do appreciate you guys. Almost 750 likes on the stream. That's huge. Uh, which stat is better for play cards? Impact. Uh, dismem impact. Yeah, 100% impact. Um, impact is more of like damage. Uh, dismember and lethality doesn't even apply to a play card. Like play cards don't register dismemberment or lethality damage. Um so you're just looking for impact. That's why the best weapons in the game to hit play cards with are heavy weapons uh, because they have such high impact. The sledgehammer, coffee can mace, um, those have like really, really all pretty much max impact. So Okay, so this one is a, a level two now. So as you guys can see on... Lethal Zone has a Feral, a Bloater, and three Screamers in it. Now, if I... Dangerous. I wonder if it's going to stay the same. Gabby from the Philippines, how you doing? So, two screamers and a bloater, you get, um, yeah, so two screamers and a bloater is what you get on a level two. You see, infestations, cooldown's a little, uh, yeah, about the same, even on green, so you can't just spam that. But all in all, I mean, it seems, like, the crazy thing is there's probably actually a bunch of hidden infestations right now. Oh, you know what we could do to help this? I, I wouldn't be able to do it with that there, though. Crap. I was going to say, I could get the cell tower, but I'd have to kill this play cart. Uh, what's one play cart, right? I want to see how squishy play carts are in green zone. Um, let's grab a shotgun, chat. Let's shoot this play cart with a shotgun. How do you think this is going to work? Do you think shotguns are viable weapons in green against play cards? Mm -hmm. Also, I want to test out noise. So you see... So every gun, you know, when you're playing green zone chat, you can use every gun in the game. Revolvers, use them. Shotguns, use them. Better make sure it's dead. Well, you got them. These zombies are deaf. From exploring plague territory. Could you imagine if you played like this on lethal? Like that would be so. It'd be so fun. Just being able to go around and just eviscerate zombies with a shotgun like that. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't see any Zeds, but that won't last here in plague territory. It's like Red Dead Redemption. Get out of here. Look at that. That shotgun, it just it just looks so cool in that sidearm spot. That's the meta chat. Seems to be Wait, where the hell's the play card? Oh yeah, down here. Wait, no, I thought there was one. Yeah, that was it. That bloater could be bad news. Not if we hit him with it. With the Get out of here! I'm 
I'm gonna run out of bullets, chat. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta relax. Hey, bro. Hard to believe this place was used by people once. <laughs> Nobody plays like this, right? You ready, chat? How many shots do you think it's gonna take? Let, let's see the numbers in the chat. How many? How many shots? From the shotgun to kill this play cart on green zone. Get your bets in, get your bets in. Damn, those are some high numbers, chat. I was thinking like 10 to 12. All right, let's see this. Oh, maybe not, chat. Maybe not. Seven to phase it. So it's going to be like 19, 20 shots. Right. Woo! Okay, let's see how wild these play cards get. I mean, this is a respectable amount of zombies, chat. It's going to definitely be over 20. That was what, 20? Twenty-two? That was not bad. I mean, Cannibals. Man, this world is just so messed up. do you guys think that was a lot more than you expected? Did you, did you expect Green Zone to actually be easier, or did you think it's, or do you think it was easier than you expected it to be? I, it was definitely more than I thought. I, I didn't think it was going to take that many shots, nor did I expect there to be that many zombies that showed up. No, green zone is the easiest difficulty in the game. Well, I feel like most of us wouldn't know, you know what I mean? The thing is, it's uh, you know, it's easy to build. Like I, I, I've never really played Green Zone like that. You know, I've sped run Green Zone for the most part. But um, me as a player, I can't sit there and say, "Oh yeah, you know, Green Zone." Is, I just have my own in my mind what I think Green Zone is. But realistically, I don't, I don't know. You know, I've never freaking played it. The new outpost is fixed up and ready to go. Okay, so now this, wow! Look how big of a range that gives us. 
with the one cell tower there. If we did the cell tower here, the cell tower here, and the cell tower here, chat, you could you could see the whole map for the most part, except the southern area. So you'd have to do a cell tower here. But you could actually cover the whole map in cell towers and see where everything is going on. 100%. Because you'll actually get some overlap between this one and this one. I thought it would reveal the infestations, though. You know what I mean? But this didn't reveal anything. I mean, it'll show stuff moving around, but that's about it. Stranger at the door means there's somebody that came to my base um, that has an offer for me. Oh, auto. Ugh. You can literally use any gun in this difficulty chat. Like, any gun. Over here. And, it, and it's pretty viable. But yeah, stranger at the door just means. Oh no no no! Stranger at the door. Um, I think in green zone, like every day, don't like people come and try to join your join your community. Like you get free recruits. Like I'm thinking that a new place to crash would be a good call. Yeah yeah. So one of the, the the things about green zone is every day, like a random survivor just shows up at your base and is like, "Yo, do you need me?" And then you can like check them, and you're like, "No, dude, dude, but." And then I'm thinking that a new place. Sorry, but I have to say no. And then, oh, okay. is it not every day? How how often is that? I thought it, I could swear it was every in-game day. I might be wrong, Bjorn, for sure. I like I have no clue. I, I thought it was every in-game day. You know, making plans for tomorrow just puts a smile on my face. All right, so we got that. Uh, we got. Oh, hell yeah. The fuck was that? No way this can last. So best enjoy it while it does. That didn't sound like a- I mean, it kind of sounded like a screamer. It didn't sound like a screamer, though. Oh, it sounded way different. Oh, yeah. Norm normal screamers sound different than the Plague Screamers, don't they? These ones are more screechy. Yeah, Plague Screamer is definitely...
<laughs> Look at I got, guys. We can call him Earl. We can call him Earl. Damn, you ever notice how dirty the screamer's feet are, Jeff? Look at this. Look at that. No, it's not. This is Earl's, lady. You better relax. Can't bring these people anyway, dude. Uh, like, like, we just got Earl, chat. Like, what kind of world do we live in here, chat? This is, these people are like, you can't take these people anywhere. Unacceptable. Like, now we got to make memorial t-shirts for or Earl, chat. Now, now we got to get those Earl memorial t-shirts going. My name is Earl. <laughs> <laughs> Like she didn't even give him a chance. I don't did he even make it through the Earl didn't even make it through the gate, chat. Like he didn't even make it through the gate. She was she was just not having it. Like That is not a touchdown, chat. I haven't seen a normal screamer in forever, though. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, guys, I, I want to tell you, thank you so much for almost 800 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate that. I need to try one of the normal feral. I mean, we had a normal feral. I want to. We did have the. We did. We did battle the juggernaut too. Um. Green zone is is definitely a nice zone for you to learn the game in, especially with the freaks. Um. You know what I mean? Like you can you can learn how to fight different freaks. Now, I mean, I wouldn't. I like just because you can. And I. That's the only downside to like lower difficulties is. They a player built like is like oh you know I can fight a juggernaut you know and then they go ahead and they fight juggernauts and they win, you know what I mean and, and that's awesome you know what I mean to say they fight juggernauts and they're winning, that's dope in my opinion you know what I mean keep it up but the problem is is that that's a bad uh, habit to try to get into because when you get into the higher difficulty you ain't fighting no goddamn juggernaut it ain't happening you know what i mean like especially in melee you know what i mean like fighting them other ways but you're not fighting juggernauts in melee realistically i mean you can but nobody really is going to so i feel like as players you can b easily build up some really really bad habits in uh lower difficulties and then when you get in higher difficulties that's just not viable anymore you know what i mean like, what do you even need plague cures for? And I don't even think you need plague cures in green zone. Like, can you even really get blood plague? <gasps> Yo, this area just loves spawning juggernauts. Look how fleshy they are, chat. 
Yeah. I don't know why. I think the normal juggernauts look cooler than the plague juggernauts. <laughs> Damn, just fuck me, right? <laughs> Slam! No! Oh! I thought that was gonna do way more damage. Be real chat, I've never kicked a juggernaut head like that before. So first time for everything. I've never kicked a juggernaut's head to death. It happened. You guys seen it here. Flag with the super chat rip Earl la <laughs> but beautiful in his own crusty way. Yo, Earl was the man. I had a plan for him and everything. And then, ew. You know what, though? The crazy thing is, is that gun that we just got actually is probably viable in this difficulty. Like, you could actually use it. Yo, there's no freak zombies, though. Like, if, there, if they were, they would show up. But there's, like, no freak zombies anywhere. That's wicked. I want to actually swap over to... Yeah, because I have this ring up. All the freaks would show in this ring, and there's just none. I guarantee this, though, the second I... I'm going to switch it to standard zone. Just to see if the freak density changes all that much. It's not even any hordes. Zombies! They're trying to break in. There you go. Yeah, see, now the freaks are popping in. Still not very many, though. I'll give it a sec to load up. Expected more out of standard zone, though. There's already a feral, though. The cool thing about ferals, too, like normal ones, is they actually have blue eyes, chat, and they're blind. Like, but most people don't know that ferals are blind, and they, they actually hunt you down by, uh... <laughs> you look at his eyes. So instantly you can feel the stamina difference between green zone and uh, standard zone, like night and day. Okay, 
running on empty. <laughs> he said, nah, dude, you ain't. I'm actually gonna pop this. I wanna see if this. Barrels ain't having the disrespect, bro. <laughs> Not having the disrespect. I don't even know if it's possible to really kick a feral like that. There we go. No, why does he go into the stomp animation? Like, I just want to kick. I know I've kicked barrels before. There. But, but. The Maybe they changed it to the stop because now you can actually kill him with the Shot kick. The he just kind of just died, Jet. That Pharaoh died for science. Yeah, I'm gonna need something much bigger than this one. Oh well, yeah, this is the gun I wanted to test out on a juggernaut. So that this gun right here, this 44 Magnum, the only time I could even see using this thing and it would be a versus a juggernaut. In lethal zone, they're 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 just pointless. It takes like 60, 70 bullets. If not more to kill a juggernaut, I want to see how much it takes in the standard zone using a 44 Magnum. Really decent accuracy, though. Chat. His whole skull was exposed. You guys want to see how much damage bloater gas does? This is standard zone, by the way. It doesn't continue hurting you when you fall. Yeah, it's pretty... Pretty chill. It's pretty chill, honestly. I, I thought it was going to do a bit more damage, but even standard zone right now is not producing very many zombies. But all of the uh, infestations are gone. All right, so we're going to call in that radio call in one more time just to see what happens, just what it spawns right now. No, that one wasn't Earl. Earl was he was special. Yeah, he 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 was special. 
That that other screamer, he doesn't he doesn't deserve to be called Earl. Like Earl was unique. Okay. Did you, did you guys see Earl's feet? Only Earl could have feet like that. Laid back, man. What the super chat? Thank you. So I miss Earl already. No, me too. Hello out there. I have some goodies to trade straight from Trumbull Valley. Okay, so we're running the uh, the infestation scouting mechanic. One of our survivors, uh, Bonzi, has gone out to scout the region to see what the infestation situation looks like. Any tips for green zone? Um. Not really. I mean, you could experiment. Definitely experiment. When you're on green zone, experiment with with anything you have questions for. Like, is this gun good? Just experiment. There's no real consequences to trying things. Um, if you want to try a gun, if you want to try a, a certain bomb, if you want to just, just try it. There, there's nothing like if you're like, oh, is this sniper rifle any good? Experiment. Try it out. You know what I mean? I would never in my life shoot this unsuppressed um, in any difficulty. But let me see how much noise it makes. And Yeah, I mean, sniper rifles, unsuppressed, are even viable in this difficulty. I should reload. Sure, that's a freak over there. Time to reload. But yeah, um, just experiment, try things. Now the thing is, um, in, in in state of decay, sniping is actually pretty viable, um, especially against like ferals and stuff like that. It's very very viable. Uh, but it's honestly, I, I think it's probably, I'd say it's probably the most underused thing because there's no ADS, so you can't really. But when you, when you know you're this far away from a feral and stuff like that, being able to just tap them from super far away. Now the the spawn in radius is definitely a little sus. Uh, you know, I mean, like when the zombies you can actually see them. So that's the only thing that really limits sniping in this game is the spawn radius. But I mean, even in lethal zone, if you're trying to shoot a zombie this far away. It's it's definitely viable, you know what I mean? I should reload. You know, like that that that's like that's a pretty decent amount of range right there. That's why I hope in State of the K3, um, long range is kind of a thing. Okay, how much time do we got? Ten more seconds and let's see what happens on the map. Here we go. Yep, I got nothing here. No infestations, chat. So the cooldown 
is wicked long. All those infestations spawn, but that now the time in between when they can spawn again is fairly long. There's nothing on the map. He didn't find anything. That's crazy. Stealth kill a bloater? <laughs> I don't even know how you do that. Like, how would how one would pull that off? I mean, I, you technically could, really, if, if there was a freaking bloater anywhere. Uh, you technically could stealth kill a bloater, realistically. You just, you'd take damage. All right, chat. Well, there it is. I hope that the end of this stream was educational in, in, in some way, shape, or form. Where we're just kind of messing around, uh, seeing what the game's all about. But yet, no infestations. And I'm on standard zone right now. So, and I've been, you know, bouncing difficulties. So, I don't know if that maybe messed up the infestation system, but... But, Priscilla, again, thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. And uh, if there was a bloater, I would I would attempt to stealth kill one, but there's not even one in the AO. I shot the last one that was here. You know what might actually make one spawn, though? I think I might have messed it up by switching around for sure. Um, but they stayed... They, 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 they were pretty consistent... <laughs> In their placement, they felt. I felt like they were everywhere. Hey, you don't know me yet, but I have an offer you might want to hear. So this is what I meant about sniping being like viable against uh, ferals. Most people have a hard time shooting ferals. You know what I mean because of how fast they are. So being able to like get up high somewhere, scout out a feral. And then kind of just keep your distance from them and stay low. In the lower difficulties, you can really do some work. Now he's like right there. Now granted, I just shot an unsuppressed gun on, on Dread Zone, so... But when it if, if that if the gun was suppressed, boom, lights out. You know what I mean? Take the feral out, no problem on your terms. Yeah, still no bloater. All right, chat. But there it is. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I, I do appreciate it. Uh, remember, uh, Drucker County is next in the shoot. Uh, so remember, if, you, if that's something you guys want to see, just smash that like button. It's the best way to let me know that you guys are enjoying this. Um, again, if you haven't, smash that like button on your way out. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I really appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out. Tomorrow, we'll be playing some ARC and... Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I'll be playing Ghost of Tsushima first, and I'll be playing Ark later on in the day. Um, but yeah, other than that, chat, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate all of you guys. Um, you have a great night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.